guys, it's Michelle. So this is just a very quick video tutorial on this eye look that I have got going on right now. Um, I did this using the Carity 21 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah. I did, it's kind of awesome. Um, and then just a tiny pop of glitter over the top on the Moelle lid. However, if you want to see how I got this look onto my face, look at my wee stars, how cute are my stars? Um, then stay tuned and you're in the right place. So enjoy the video, give me a wee thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you've not already because, well, I would just love that and I would just love you, it'd be awesome. So um, without further ado, here comes the tutorial. Mwah. Okay, it's all kind of prepped and good to go. So, first of all, with this 21 matte palette, it's my Nanshe Blending Brush. You just go under the kind of brow bone area here. So that's just kind of underneath the brow bone area and that is good for me for now. So just kind of going above the crease area and I'm kind of gradually building this up with this brush. Um, it is quite a pigmented colour. I have prepped my lids with the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Hot in the shade Painterly and then used the Translucent Powder by Lottie London. Prep, set and go. And basically, I just want to build that colour up on there. So this is actually a really beautiful kind of mint green shade. If you are going to use these sort of colours on your lids, if you do over concealer, they're super vibrant. So it might not look as though there's a huge, huge amount going on just now, but actually overall you can see it. Now we want it to be a kind of gradual transition anyway, up towards that kind of white shade we have under the brow bone. So um, that's why I'm kind of gradually building it up. I have the Carity, a few of the Carity individual shades as well, and honestly they're gorgeous. I actually really want to get the 21 Roots and Roots palette. It looks amazing. So, how are we looking? Okay, so might look crazy just now. I've not done the rest of my face, obviously. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this tart brush now, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna dunk into this shade Wicked. So yeah, I would advise anybody out there, don't do what I did, do not depot these because I broke so many and I was totally gutted and obviously ordered another one of the palettes. So I have the palette and then I have the depotted ones which are in my Carity Travel Chamber which is actually a really nice wee magnetic palette. Green's a shade that I don't generally wear a lot. My beautiful friend Penny asked if I would do a wee green eye look. So here it is Penny, this is for you. This is all for you Penny. <laughs> this shade here, Medusa very much in at the socket line just along here now we want this to be the full way along I'm going to do a cut crease so in order for that kind of cut crease to really stand out I want to make sure that I have the colour the whole way along obviously if you want to go for more of a just on the lids type bright shade you can obviously do that um, the palette is gorgeous for that and then just having some of a neutral colour on your crease however I'm wanting to go full on with this today. These are wonderfully pigmented, I mean if you do go and use a more dense brush for these you will find you get a lot of colour. I should have done this for St Patrick's Day, this would have been a good St Patrick's look. I actually look green on my head scar. I think I want to deepen up the crease ever so slightly. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just, and I'm not fussed about making a mess on the outside of my eye because I'm going to do a clean up mission at the end anyway. And it is a mission. I'm going to use a fluffier brush to blend that. I am hardly touching that pigment just once. And you can see it really does add a bit more dimension and depth to the colour. So this kind of like layering, you have your lightest, you get darker as we're going down. I'm just reapplying over the top. Okay, 
back to the white caress. I'm going to use some of my collection Lasting Perfection concealer in shade Fair number one. Here's where the fun begins. Okay, so with the concealer I am on that brush I'm going to create a kind of cut crease. On my Morphe E23 brush, I am grabbing a wee tiny bit of translucent powder. A tiny bit. I've put hundreds on. And I want that on the very inside here. In the first half. I'm actually going to go to the outside and add some colour there with another flat kind of shader brush to pack on the colour. This is number 9 by BH Cosmetics. What I am going to do is grab just a wee kind of, this is actually an angles brush, it's the first one I've grabbed at hand. Number 10, I'm going to dip into the black shade Disturbed. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go for the lighter shade on this brush and it's the shade Wicked, the brighter green. I find it can be easier if you start from the darker shades and then kind of go to lighter if you're going for that kind of dark to light transition in shades. I found always starting with the darkest, I just find it easier. Yeah. I'm going to go do the other eye and then I will be right back with you. So it might still look a wee bit mental at this point. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is just grab a kind of finer tight pencil brush is my pen and go ever so gently with a dot onto this dessert and then Medusa dessert. Right. So this is some teal and some emerald glitters kind of mixed together. I had this crazy notion to mix my glitters. I know people think this is crazy going over glitter with eyeshadow, but this stuff still does give that bit of shimmer through it. So we have the NYX Studio Liner in extreme black. I'm going to apply some of that, baby. Okay, so I'm going to grab my um, Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner on the My Kits Co My Tiny Liner Brush. Oh no, I was going to do this white. I forgot. Never mind. That's okay. Okay, so I've done the rest of the face. Now what I'm going to do is go in with the kind of medium shade Wicked here. And I am just going to pop this underneath my eyeball. So it looks like I'm bringing it down quite low, but it's because I'm going to go in with another couple of colours as well. And basically, I'm taking that right up. So I know that my wing is in the middle. That's okay, because that's what I'm going for. And then the darker shade of Medusa at the bottom. I'm going to grab the blending brush by Nancy that I've already used and just give those wee blends along. The reason I'm also adding this kind of black layer here 
is because I don't have any natural eyelashes due to my alopecia, so this creates a bit of a shadow as well under eye. I'm too lazy to stick on false bottom ones. Sometimes I do, most of the time I don't. Sometimes I actually draw on false bottom lashes, which people always laugh when I say that, but I actually do. And nobody's ever actually noticed. Or maybe has and just hasn't commented, okay. So I just kind of need to do lashes and then that is the face. The eyeballs will then at that point be done. I love the Carity palette, honestly, it is just beautiful. The 21 matte, you have all these amazing vibrant colours. Um, I do use it often. You can use just like these kind of shades here, your oranges, pinks, your yellows. Um, your browns and greys and stuff if you want and you can actually do a very natural look with those um, or you can add in a wee pop of colour or you can just go full on green like I have done and pop on some glitter and just a sparkle on right up there. I don't even know how many times I've used these, I think I'm on to about use number 42. Honestly the Ardell lashes are just amazing, amazing, amazing. I should have done this on the 17th of March and made it my St. Patrick's Day thing. I forgot. A wee touch of highlight in the inner corner just to brighten up my life. I feel I have to star gem. I'm probably way too old for doing this, however. So pretty. Okay guys, so I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I especially love it with these wee stars under my eyes. I am 35, but so it's fun. Um, if you like this then give us a wee thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. This is such an easy eye look to achieve with this palette. It is a lovely wee palette. It is worth the money as far as I'm concerned. Um, Carity are a lovely brands, cruelty free. This is not sponsored. This is just my opinion. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoyed and until next time then take care of yourself and don't forget that you are so beautiful and I will see you all soon. Mwah.